You have our gratitude, Edson. Why is it wherever you go, trouble follows? Antonio, I trust you know why I'm here. I imagine to read Venice of Marco Barbarico. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. Okay. Speak with Tadora about Marco Barbardigo. Fair enough. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> Whoever said I wasn't. Indeed, I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church. But grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads, not in the depths of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized. So I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. <laughs> Among other things, I'm sure. Oh, hi, that's a... That's a that's a penis joke. Let's look at her in the database, huh? Uh, date of birth, 1450. Profession, Madame of La Rosa de la Virtu. Although Tidora abandoned her family name when she entered the church, Venetian tax records indicate that she grew up in the Contanto, Contanto family. Her parents owned a jewelry store, and Tidora was apprenticed to her mother as a shop girl. Let's see. A visitor to the shop in 1462 wrote, Bought a pair of diamond earrings today for Margarita at the Cantanjo shop around the corner. A charming young girl helped box them. When she handed me the earrings, our fingers touched. I had to leave the shop at once. Oh lord, I wish I'd never married. <laughs> Court records indicate that by the time Todora turned 17, she was doing far more than just touching. On the 26th of November, 1467, she engaged in adultery with a married man, and his wife alerted the Venetian courts. As was common in these sorts of situations, her parents reacted by sending her to a nunnery to live the rest of her life in prayer and silence. Tadora entered Santa Maria della Angel in 1467. Determined to do penance for her crime, but in 1473 she deserted the church, leaving a statement nailed to the front door. In it, she wrote that life in the cloisters of the sterile and earthly, and oh, was sterile and earthly, and that only in partnership with another could one truly enter the arms of God. Tador opened the La Rosa della Virtù the same year, according to the poet P uh, Pietro Bimbo. Bimbo. <laughs> Who was a frequent customer, her bordello was the church of a new sect of Cath Catholicism. Oh, that's sweet. Sure, there's lots of baptism going on there. Signore, signore, come on, come all. The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? No. This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete! Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. This should be interesting. You'd best get to it, Ezio. All right. All right, what's this? Signori, signori, 
This may be the easiest challenge yet, or the hardest. A game of charisma and charm. Step right up, step right up. All right, all right. <laughs> Welcome. Tell what it is. Gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. Ladies, <laughs> here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the golden mask. Okay. Obtain more ribbons in the competition from the ladies of the Carnivale. Very well. Where are women? I need women. Ribbon, ribbon. No. Okay, there's ribbon. Women. Ribbon, women. Ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. Out of the way, minstrel. I'm gonna go get something you've never had. Yeah. Women. <laughs> ah, behind there. Mind if I cop a feel? You're all looking lovely this afternoon. He went back and touched him again. I'm taking money too. <laughs> nice. Might be fine. Join you. All right. Last group. No, not quite last group. <laughs> what are you running for? Was my charm too much for you? Hi, ladies. You're all looking lovely this afternoon. Oh, Ezio. We have a winner! You ladies, man, you. You have more ribbons than any man here. You've proved yourself a favorite of the ladies. And are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time. New shoes? Oh, he means the golden mask. <sighs> do, do, do. I don't need that. What's this game, I wonder? Get out of the way, you. Have I done something? Who's next? Step right up. Try for the best time. Can you beat your neighbors? Probably. Otherwise, Welcome. this wouldn't be a fun game. Benvenuti. Are you ready to test yourselves with a game of speed and endurance? Many challenges lie in your path. The game is simple, but finishing it near impossible. Is this a math Start test? When you're ready, the first contestant to beat the course record is one step closer to the golden mask. This is a math test, isn't it? Oh, suck at these. Right. Run, run, it's you. This isn't actually a game. This is still in Ezio's head. Gotta get the glowy things. You almost caught me on fire with that. Wrong direction! Way to go, Ezio.
Come on. Huh? Where is it? Oh. Yes, I'm aware of that, thank you. Stop it, Ezio! Great, now where is it? Who made this course anyway? Great, I have six more to go and only 28 seconds to do it. Ah, if they're all that far away, I'll never make it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, two. Ah, I gotta redo this. Shall we try again? Out of the way, minstrel. Let's see if I can do it this time without falling down. See, that's what I was supposed to do. Ha. There we go. That was much faster. Oh, ouch. That was not faster. That was not faster at all. Right? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was lucky. Can I do it this time? I have a bit more time. Come on. Come on, Ezio. Run! Run! Darn it, where's Horsey when I need him? Ah, two more to go. Eleven, ten. One more to go. Who's that? <laughs> the winner! You've proven yourself the fastest and strongest in Venezia! You are now one step closer to the grand prize! They don't seem happy. Who they're expecting to win? Alright. Last one. I need a doctor. <laughs> Heal me. That's it. I'm back if you need me. Step right. Welcome. Welcome. The rules of the game are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field, and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. Be the first to capture the flag three times, and the golden mask may yet be yours. I'm playing capture the flag in Assassin's Creed. 